Hello culinary people, this is Mrs. Jones. I am here to talk about liquid conversions. Um, some of these things about liquid conversions you already know. Um, so it's just to maybe easy, maybe show you an easier way or just solidify some of the things you already know. I put in order at the top a list of units from smallest to largest because the method I'm going to show you um, has, uses the small to large you divide and large to small that you multiply. Um, hopefully with the examples you'll be able to understand what, we're, what I'm talking about. Um, it works the same way for weight measurements. So down below at the bottom of the page, I've put them in order from smallest to largest for weight. And yes, the hashtag, before it was a hashtag, that actually meant pound. So when you see a hashtag from this point on, it'll mean pound. So our second page, you'll have some examples here. And in this first example, I know it's number six, but I eliminated some of the ones I didn't like. Um, a pound is larger than an ounce. So I'm going to put a little L above here and a little S because that's going to tell me that I'm going from a larger unit into a smaller unit, which means that I'm going to multiply. And then back on your first page, see large to small we multiply. If you don't know the conversion factor for pounds and ounces, it's right here at the bottom of your, the last thing on your table here. There's 16 ounces in a pound. So you would multiply by 16. And yes, you can get your calculator out here. I don't expect you to do it in your head or anything like that. I get the answer of 368 ounces. Let me do a couple more before we quit the video. In this next example, we have pound, pints and cups. A pint is larger than a cup, so I'm gonna put a little L to S, and then that means that I'm going to multiply again. And for pints and cups, if you don't know the conversion factor, you're gonna come over here and find pints and cups on your chart. So the conversion factor is 2. So we would multiply this by 2. 0.875 times 2 is 1.75 cups. All right, let's do one more because I think this one is going to make us do the different... Um, procedure, a different movement. Cups are smaller than quarts, so I'm going to put a little s and a little l, and that's going to make me see that I'm going from a small unit to a larger unit, which that means I'm going to divide. See back here with our rule, if we are going from a small unit to a larger unit, we're supposed to divide. And we're working with cups and quarts, so if you don't know how many cups are in a quart, you come to your table and you look up that there's four cups in a quart. So that means we are dividing by four. So 18 divided by four is four and a half, I believe. I'll double check myself just because I could be wrong. Nope, it's four and a half. So there's four and a half quarts in 18 cups. The rest of this page is just some basic examples, basic problems. And then on the back of this, oops, well, let's see. On the back of this, your, second, your third sheet has some examples that are more related to the actual kitchen. All right. Thank you, um, try your best, and hopefully we'll see you soon.